and welcome back to Google Drive in under five. Today we're going to be looking at Gmail and we're going to talk a little bit about email filters and how they can make your life extremely easy. I have some emails here. I've got some drafts. I've got some emails that I sent myself and I've also got some emails from this Gmail team. These are of course the default emails that we get when we sign up for Gmail and we want to make sure that we can do something with them here. We want to filter this out because quite often Gmail will send us some reminders or some little tips and tricks on how to use Gmail. There's a few things that I can do. I can click on both of these and I can add a label. That's one way of handling this. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's create a label called Gmail team. And I'm gonna create a new label. And you can see right here, Gmail team has been put over here and we can even see that this is here. But the problem is these are still in our inbox. Now, we wanna make this a little bit more efficient because right now that was one click to, to click on this, one click to go into label and then a few clicks to make sure that we have the right label. But let's figure out how to do all that stuff automatically. I'm gonna deselect Gmail team and you can see right now the label went away and you can see right now there's nothing here in the Gmail list. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up this email here and I see that the Gmail team is, is being sent from mail hyphen no reply at google.com. So I'm gonna highlight this email address right here and I'm going to copy it. Now I'm going to come up here on the top and underneath of the, or right next to the Omnibar, I should say, there is a triangle. I'm going to click from and I'm going to paste in that email address. Now we know that this Omnibox here is where we do our Google advanced search for all of our emails, but I'm going to direct the attention right here to create filter with this search. Now I have this email address and we're going to create a filter for it. And right now we're saying anything that comes in from this email address, I can do one of many things here. I can have the emails automatically skip the inbox and be archived, and that's important. Maybe we don't wanna check that every day, but maybe maybe you know once a week, we wanna see what kinds of emails are coming in from the Gmail team. I can automatically mark this as read. I can automatically star it. I can forward it, delete it. I can never send it to spam. I can always mark it important. I can never mark it as important, or I can categorize this. But I'm gonna check here, and I'm going to apply the label. And so right now, I'm gonna hit apply the label, and I'm going to choose the label Gmail team. I'm also gonna click here to apply the filters to the two matching conversations. Now, this is important. Let's say your email box has thousands of emails in it. We can do the following. We can say anything from this email address Dating back to the beginning of time, also applying to the two matching conversations, we're going to skip the inbox and we're going to apply the label. Now, what am I doing here? This takes everything that's in my inbox from this person. I'm going to automatically put it in this label and apply it to these conversations. Now, this is important. This can actually take thousands of emails out of your inbox and automatically organize them under labels. So right here, I'm gonna hit skip the inbox, apply the label. I don't wanna categorize it, but I want it to apply to these two matching things. So I'm gonna create the filter, and you can notice here under inbox, they're gone. And then over here under Gmail team, here they went. So that is a great way to use the filters tab to not only clean up your inbox, but to organize it. Now, if I didn't select the button, to automatically archive it, they would have still been in the inbox, but they then would have had the Gmail team label on there. So they would have been you know, also in the inbox and the label. That is a powerful way of not only cleaning up your brand new inbox, but using filters as well. There's of course several other great ways of using filters. We can say any email that goes to this email address or anything that has the subject or has the words or has dates within. So I wanna see any email that is within the date of July 13th within one week. Now that gives you a two week window to search for all emails from this person. And you can see that I don't have anything right now that fits that bill, but you can understand here we have from this email address and I'm searching any email after this date or 
before this date. There's, of course, a lot of neat things that you can do with emails and filtering. We're just getting started here. Check us out with more videos, Google Drive, in under five.